I'm making him be in the beginning of this video. Yeah, you're just gonna do like the introduction with me and then I'll let you go. No. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. Today we have our sorority formal, or well, my sorority formal, you're just like coming along with me. Super fun. I'm super excited. <laughs> Don't let him fool you, he is excited. So I decided that I'm going to film another Get Ready With Me because I just felt like I needed to and I wanted to. She needed a new video, basically. <laughs> yeah. So I really wanted Will to be in the beginning of this video so you could see his cute little precious face, but he wants to go back to sleeping. So <laughs> we'll let him go back to sleeping while I'm filming this video. Literally, he's been sleeping the past like two hours that he's been here. So first, I'm going to be starting off with my moisturizer. I use the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. And then I'm going in with my Milani Prime Shield, and this is just going to prime my face. I'm going to put it all over my face and my neck. The next step that I'm going to be doing is my foundation. So I also use the Milani Conceal and Perfect. So I just mix these two colors together and it gives me the color that I am whenever I do my self tan. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. Firstly, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Beware color and this is just a plain eyeshadow, which I will be priming my eyes. This is the only primer I have, so I'm going to be using it. It is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Priming, but it's in like a color. I think it's, it's Sin. And then I'm also going to be going in back with like the faux color, any like sparse spots that I find in my brows, and I'm going to be using this pin with it. Okay, so now I'm going to be cleaning up my brows with my concealer because they look very crazy right now and I'm just going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Wear in Oatmeal. Okay, so now I need to figure out what I'm going to be doing with my eyes, which I honestly have no idea. I'm probably just going to be doing the eye look that I normally do in my Get Ready With Me videos because that's really the only one I know how to do. This is the 350 palette by Morphe. And so I'm going to start by using this color right here and this color in my crease. I'm going in with my Urban Decay Naked Basics color and be using the highlighting Venus, which is the first color right there. So now I'm going to be taking this brown color from this palette and be putting that on the outer part of my eye. And now I'm going to be going in with like this little, I'm pretty sure this is just a sample of an eyeshadow, but it is, I think it's just called Meet Matrimony. And it's like just this like brick color. And I'm also going to be putting that more on like the outer part of my eye than the brown. So it's just going to be going on top of it. Now I'm going back in with like this shimmery brick color and going back over kind of like in a V. Okay, I'm going to be going in with a lighter concealer and I'm basically going to do a cut crease, but it's not really going to be a cut crease. It's just to make the shadow like pop more and last longer. And now where I just put my concealer, I'm going to be putting this like shimmery champagne color on my lid. And now I'm just going to basically be blending in like the outer corner upward, kind of like that. And now I'm going back in with like the little brick sample and going right over and kind of meshing like what I just put down on my lid into the outer corner. Okay, so that is all for my eyes right now. Now I'm going to be concealing underneath my eyes and cleaning this up and any problematic spots, which is a lot right now. No. Okay, 
Okay, so now that I have all of my concealer done, I'm going to be going in with like a Bake Brighton powder. And this is just from Hard Candy and it's like a banana type powder. Basically going to be putting this underneath my eyes and like where I get oily. Okay, you can still see like this bug bite, so I want to go back over it with this. Patting on that same powder on with my finger though so it's like thicker in that one area okay so now that that is done i'm going to powder my whole face so i'm going to be using just my rimmel stay matte you know my face literally looks like a different color than my neck but in real life it looks the same color. So I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. I'm basically going to be using these two because that's the ones that I have still available. made it look like my face matches more i don't really know what this lighting is doing right now really don't know what i'm doing so now i'm going to be using this color right here this one and i'm going to be doing it underneath my eyes over my nose my chin and my face and while i'm doing that i'm going in with i'm pretty sure this is revolution but it's a bacon blot and this is just like the white powder and i'm going to be putting that like basically just underneath my eyes kind of but i'm going to be doing it with my beauty blender all right so the face is almost done so now i'm going to be going in with my blush i'm going to be using a different blush than i use basically in all my other videos and it's going to be like this really bright pink we're just going to be using a little bit of it so it's not like too bright and this is just basically from the balm and i'm pretty sure it's called lace but yeah it's just like super hot pink Then on top of that, I'm going to be using my Physician's Formula and the Butter Blush, and I'm going to be putting that like basically just like on the apples of my cheeks because it's more of like a natural looking pink. Now I'm going to be taking my Kabuki brush and just blending right here, right here. I'm going to like try turning this thing down and seeing if that helps at all. I still don't know why my face isn't matching on camera. Maybe it's just the camera okay so now going back to eyes i'm going to be doing something underneath my eyes so first thing i'm going to be putting underneath my eyes is this brown color right here in the palette and basically i'm just going to be taking a little brush and just putting it right underneath my eye so now that i have that underneath my eye i'm going back in with this brick color and doing that like over top of it now I'm going to be taking my finger and then I'm going to be like blending it out and like smudging it. Alright, so that is what it looks like right now. I ran out of like my brow like gel. So I have to like basically hairspray my brows down, which I'll do that in a second. Still not sure what this light is doing or what I am doing wrong with it, but it's making everything look really weird. So I might be moving you and like trying to figure out something else. Okay, I don't know if this is any better. This is not with my lights. This is done with my lamp light. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. So we're going to do the other half of this video with just this. So I'm going back in with the Naked Basics palette and basically doing that highlight color that I just did in my inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to be going back over underneath my brows with that highlight again. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is my eyeliner and I just use this like dollar elf eyeliner and basically I'm going to be doing a wing to make it look kind of cute. I don't know.
so I just put on my eyelashes and I'm just using the Ardell Wispies and I put them on with my Velour or Velour. I don't know how to pronounce this. But that is what I use for the glue. And now I'm going back over with my e.l.f. eyeliner just like to clear out any spots that may have like gotten taken off whenever I was curling my eyelashes or anything like that. Don't be scared. I'm going in with my mascara and I'm just using the luminous, voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Okay, so now my lashes are on and I'm just going to be doing the bottom lashes and then highlighting my nose and my cheekbones. That is what my face looks like right now. Everything is basically done. I just have to put like my lipstick on, but I don't know what color to do yet. So stay tuned for that. But I'm about to be going into the bathroom and doing my hair. I'm just going to be curling it. Pretty sure I'm just going to be keeping it down. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you the products that I'm using and then I'm just going to like put this all on like a time lapse for you. Basically, I'm going to be using my Chi Iron Guard and this is going to be like protecting my hair. Also going to be going in with my Dove dry shampoo because my hair is so oily right now and I really need this and it also gives me some volume in my hair. Then I use two different hairsprays. So the first one I use is the herbal essences and this is what I use like before I curl my hair. After like everything is done and I want it like to stay, then I'm going to be going in with my got to be glued hairspray and this literally works like glue and it helps my hair so much because your girl has very, very fine, very thin, straight hair and she needs this. So now I'm going to be taking my hair down and just curling it. <laughs> The beast is awake from his nap. Okay. Will, you have all these lines on your like I was neck snoozing. and chest. Well, I don't know if my hair looks good or not. Now he's just gonna get dressed in his little suit. I'm just chilling real quick, waiting on Will. <laughs> so basically, this is the outfit right here. This is just like a white dress. It's almost backless. I'm not really sure what this is, but we're working with it. I did my hair like half up, half down, and I just have like a pearl barrette in the back of it. So for jewelry, I have these earrings on, and they're basically just gold hoops with like white pearls like all over them. Then I have my air necklace from Pi Fi and then this like diamond type necklace. I don't really know. And then this dress, I got it from a discount Dillard store. And so it just has like this sheer panel right here. Then I'm just wearing some plain gold Tory Burch flats. <laughs> and so yes, that is my outfit for formal. And we're about to go check on Will. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed. You clean up nice. <laughs> Don't all formal start at 11.30 Yeah, we have to be at the bus at 11.30. That's really late. That's way past my bedtime and it lasts until 3. That's why I got a good night's sleep beforehand. Yeah, that's why you slept the whole time. But no, honestly, I'm normally in bed by now. Like, what time is it right now? 11. No, it's 10 p.m. That's crazy. And we're going to be taking pictures of Pi-Fi and then we're going to go to the formal day party. I also just put on these rings and it's just like a plain like gold and like a diamond type ring that I got from Amazon and then this ring and it's just like a like swirly arrow type ring which I got from Amazon as well and then this is that gold diamond ring. We just made it to Pi Fi. <laughs> so cold. Yeah, I'm literally freezing. It's 42 degrees outside. Hey. Hey, look. We just got back from the date party. It's still cold. So, it was a lot of fun. It was. <laughs> well, okay. It was because I was with you, of course. But we had lots of fun. We got pictures taken at Pi Fi before we went to the date party. 
and then we headed home. It's literally so late. What time is it? Probably at one thirty two. Is it for real one thirty? Oh, it's probably past one thirty. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to her YouTube channel. Cause I mean I mean who doesn't want to see awesome videos of her all the time? I heard that. I mean, it's been a great block and ball. See ya. Bye! <laughs>